Hello everybody and welcome to another session on engineering graphics with me Yash Shavla from Parul Institute of Engineering and Technology. Uh, we had uh, gone through the syllabus once and uh, we are uh, today we are going to solve a few more problems uh, which are there. The two very important topics are orthographic projections and isometric projections. So uh, today we are going to uh, have some problems about uh, orthographic projection and next Sunday that is before your exam uh, we will have uh, the last solution of isometric problems and we will try to accommodate more problems which are uh, which are there in engineering graphics so that you have a better clear picture of the subject and you will be able to give your exams uh, much better okay so let's move on uh, with today uh, since there was a, a gap of 15 days around we'll uh, brush up a uh, our memories a bit about orthographic projections and then move on to solving uh, examples today we'll be solving three examples and uh, at the end of the session we'll conclude that uh, we are we able to draw the projections of orthographic or no okay let's start uh, so today we are as I said today we are going to so solve examples of orthographic projection is what we are going to do today now uh, the concept of orthographic projections this is has been repeated this is being repeated so that you have a brush up memory now in this we have to assume a few points uh, the first is that the we have to assume that the observer is at an infinite distance from us or the observer the distance between the observer and the object in the screen is infinite that is uh, from where the observer is observing and from where the actual projection is being made the distance is infinite that's when we can assume that the lines are parallel uh, the parallel rays of line uh, pass through the object and uh, go onto the screen and onto the observer so that he'll be able to see the orthographic projection uh, clearly and the exact shape is revealed the second is that the uh, rays because it is at an infinite distance the rays of projections are uh, ray of projections are parallel and either they are parallel or they are perpendicular to the planes say if uh, you are viewing it from the front then it is uh, uh, parallel to the horizontal plane uh, when and uh, perpendicular to the vertical plane and if you are viewing it from the top then it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane so that is the concept that you have to uh, make clear in your mind then it is actually very useful to have an orthographic projection drawn because it reveals the exact shape of the object when you are looking from different views so once that different views are there with you then you can combine those views to have an isometric object that can be done the other way around also you can have an isometric object and you can get draw the orthographic projection and when you are drawing an isometric projection you will have the orthographic projection as the question so isometric projection and orthographic projection are vice versa of each other and when you are given a question to draw uh, isometric uh, projections of uh, any question then in the question orthographic projections will be given and when you are told to draw orthographic projections in the question uh, then the question will be given as isometric object so that should be uh, you should keep that in mind when you are uh, practicing to practice both the way around so that orthographic and isometric can be practiced at the same time the different views that are available in orthographic projection now there are two angles first angle and third angle the difference on paper that it makes is that the uh, in first angle the front view is always at the center front view yes this is the front view now uh, for first angle projection we have the uh, top view down and the left view on the right hand side and the right uh, right view on the left hand side so this is actually right side view on the left side and the left side view on the right side okay and this is the back view this is the bottom view so these are the uh, ones which are available in first angle projection now if I go to third angle projection uh, sorry first angle projection again see uh, this is an example of first angle projection where you know, this house is given now for this house uh, when you when I am looking from this side so this is my uh, front view so my front view it will be will come as this why it will come as this because I'm see I, I'll draw and show you now this will be this will come as a straight line then this will again go and this will be again a rectangle this will come and uh, on top of that uh, this will be done and again an, another rectangle will come which will be this so this whole uh, thing is shown here as you can see this is uh, this is a slant line which 
coincides with this line and then uh, this horizontal section which is there from the top and this rectangle which I uh, showed you which is this this one right now if I take a different pen color it will be uh, I'll take an I'll take this color now what I'll do is I'll view it from this side this is my side view okay now for side view what what will happen is that this is my left hand side view I'm viewing it from the left side so this is my left side view which is this one left side view correct now what I see from here is I see a uh, oh wait I, I see a triangle here I see a triangle then I see a rectangle here I see my rectangle and this is visible this thing is visible as M which is visible here this is like an uh, up, upside down M and these two uh, points come out from here so these are the points so this is my left hand side view if I look at it from here then what will be the difference is that uh, instead of just a rectangle what will happen is this whole pillar will be visible from this side so this is uh, my right hand side view and when I am talking about the top view or top view will have my both side of the roof this side of the roof and the other side so it, this top view is shown here so this is the thing now when we uh, go to third angle now what happens is for third angle this is my front view now in for first angle what happened was the top view was below now the top view is at the top the bottom view is the bottom right hand side view is at the right hand side and left hand side view is at the left hand side which is totally reverse of what was there in uh, first angle now this is the same example the only thing that is differing is that the right hand side view has has changed its position and the left hand side view has changed its position and the top view has gone up and the front view has remained on its place so this is the only difference that exists okay now this is the comparison of first angle and third angle as i said see for first angle this is my front view and for third angle this is my front view and when i talk about top view in first angle then my top view is below the front view and when i talk about third angle my top view is above the front view so this is the difference now as the same thing the bottom view will uh, the bottom view will get opposite as well the uh, in first angle you can say everything is opposite if say if it is a top view then it will be uh, below first uh, the front view and if it is a bottom view it is it will be above uh, the fr front view and when we are talking about uh, the third angle in third angle everything is where it should be the right hand side will be on the right hand side view right uh, left will be left side top will be top bottom will be bottom so in a third angle all will be as they should be means the top view will be at the top bottom view will be, uh, will be at bottom right view uh, right side view will be at the right hand side and left hand side will be at the left hand side and here everything will be opposite of what actually uh, the word says if it says bottom then it will come at top if it says top it will come at bottom if it says left it will come on the right hand side of front view and if it says right it will come on the left hand side of the uh, view now if you are if you are told to draw the back side then back side view is always at the same place you can see in the first angle as well as in the third angle the uh, back back side view is at the same place in the uh, whole shape that is shown okay now uh, another example of an orthographic projection now what what is happening here is that there is a glass box now this uh, red lines these outer red lines these outer red lines what they do is they show a glass box this is a glass box I'm just drawing the outlines in isometric view So this is a glass box in which the object here is enclosed and now you can see that there are different linings that are done now I'll just uh, change my pen color to black okay so this is what the object is now this whole thing when I where I'm marking is actually the object as you can see these this is the object that is there inside the screen now what uh, why this glass box is useful to us for orthographic projection is that just why uh, this is just like a cube so just like a dice 
if you uh, if we roll the dice a particular number comes and that particular number is one side of or say one face of that cube and if there is an image that or say an object which is enclosed in that dice then what will happen is that it will show only that view or say that side of the object which is exactly on the screen say if i am if my face is one of the sides of the die and it lands here then what you can see will be my only my face that's it so this is what uh, actually happens now uh, for this how it becomes easier for us uh, to make the different views will be see these now first of all what i'll do is i'll mark the top view this is a very good this uh, thing which is there inside the glass box will be given in your question now what you should do first is recognize which will be the surfaces which will be visible and which will be invisible so i'll just in the top view what all surfaces will be visible i'll see this surface will be visible to me so i'll cur color it out i'll color it out or i'll mark it out then this surface will be visible to me from the top view and again this surface will be visible to me from the top view okay now when i want to draw my top view what i'll uh, what i will draw is see here it is on this one it is clear that uh, again wait okay on this thing that is i'm marking it as one it is this uh, one that i have marked with a circle this will be a square or say it will be a type of a rectangle because its dimension is not clear here so it will be either a square or a rectangle so what it is that it is exactly what i have drawn here okay now if i talk about number 2 which i have marked again here it will be another rectangle so which i have marked here and this i know it will be a uh, com uh, complex shape and it will actually contain two shapes so this is my first shape that is a rectangle this is another rectangle and this is a uh, tri uh, triangle that i have this is say if i mark it as a b and c this is a com uh, combination of these three shapes so here also again what happens is that i have this uh, this is this is the whole thing is a this is b and this is c so i have my top view similarly when i talk about my now i'll take blue yeah now when i talk about my front view then i'll mark the points which are there on my front view so this section i will be able to see on my front view this is a slant section so i'll mark it this way so this i will be able to see on my front view that's it and this section will also be visible in my front view so my front view has one this uh this rectangle this shoe type shape this shoe type shape will be visible and then this will be this is angled but again it will be a, shown as a rectangle that is visible to me so here i see that this is a rectangle corresponding to the uh, upper one now this is a shoe type thing that is visible to me which is this one and again this is a rectangle that was uh, inclined one that is drawn here so this is my uh, front view and now now i'll take red color which will be visible from uh, which i this is my uh, side view so which all will be visible from my side view let's see so this is the first section that is visible to me this is again a shoe type thing shoe type uh, which will be visible so this is what the shoe type will uh, look like in when i am actually drawing it on my paper now again a rectangle is visible to me this is a rectangle which is vis visible to me from the side so this is a rectangle that is visible to me from the side that is a back end and now this section this section will be seen from the side view as well because it is slant so it is visible to me as this the distance between this line and this line will be taken and this side view will be received so this is uh, the this is how we can get orthographic projection from a glass view a uh, glass box approach okay so this is what uh, we already discussed now these points are taken forward and uh, then the front view is drawn
this is again how the orthographic projection is unfolded when uh, this is the horizontal plane so the top view comes up because it is uh, the is in third angle and the side view comes to the side and the front view remains as it is okay now let's get down to solving examples we'll be solving three examples today so let's uh, start with the first example we will be just having the isometric view here okay so this is an object that is given to you it in examination what will happen is that the same thing will be given to you the only thing uh, more will given to you will be dimensions and the la labels now if labels are not given then you should label them now why i am saying you should label them is see for uh, suppose what happens is that i mark these four points as a b c and d now what will happen is that when i am practicing and i mark this uh, on my well, on my practice sheet and i know that where my point a is where my point c is where my point b where my, where my point d is so when i am drawing my orthographic projection and i get i get my answer so i will be able to compare that orthographic projection with my isometric view and see if my point a was here then wh where did it land on my paper on the, the orthographic projection if my point d is here then where actually did it land on my paper when i am drawing the orthographic projection so this is uh, why it is necessary that you should mark uh, these points and dimensions of course in engineering graphics dimensions are uh, very important so that is a thing that you should be very clear of now okay yes so i won't be able to get rid, rid of this 